Welcome to the Solid Canyon University channel. In this video, we'll continue our series of the HSR, HSM constraint boundary options. In this one, we'll be, we'll be talking about the created manual section, and we'll start with the user-defined boundary. So in the HSR and HSM toolpath, you're restraining the travel of the tool using either sketches or constraint boundaries. And in the created manual section, what you're doing is you're trying to get it to be targeted to a specific area. So with the user defined boundary, you can click on the new geometry button and you actually select the exact chain you'd like to use to define the, that boundary. So that could be a sketch or that could be the edges of your solid. So let's say for instance, I grab my edges of my solid here. I'll go around using our chain options. And as you can see, it's based solely off of the edges of the solid. So now that I've closed that chain, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some sort of fenced off area to limit the travel of the tool. In this case, let's say I'm looking to just limit it to just these surfaces using the outside edges of those surfaces. So as soon as I click the green check mark and I'll click show, we get a constraint boundary that is defined by the edges of that surface. So now I can tell it to use any of my tool relation boundaries here to limit the travel of the tool to only within that sketched area. Now that could be a sketch or that could be the edges of the surfaces or the solid that I'm looking to machine. So it's a, it's a great way to target this particular HSR or HSM toolpath to only that one area to limit the travel of the tool. Stay tuned for the rest of the options in this YouTube series.